This is one of the first things that um, when I came to Gen Pass and using Asana, um, one of the tools that really helped us was really um, getting these brief intakes forms um, set up. Um, typically, someone would actually submit a campaign um, through this, and it's pretty simple um, just to kind of help us categorize and really understand what the needs are. Um, and we actually attach a live doc, um, which really entails like a typical brief, um, and then we can, uh, and then we actually update it uh, with statuses and information for the project. And once this intake form comes in, we really do have a routine um, that we, my team reviews every Monday and I assign some, a member from my team uh, to kind of go through it and make sure that we have all the answers um, with the brief owner. Um, and we actually also share out um, a timeline um, and, and start working from there. Is that how you guys handle your requests too? Yeah, it's very, very similar. So we... Uh, we obviously have that kind of core marketing plan that I talked about already. Um, that's the one that we want to activate with the sales team. That's the one that we really kind of want to shout about. But we also want to leave enough space like within the year for perhaps the sales teams to be able to drive some of their own activities. That could be a customer dinner. It could be a self-serve webinar. Um, so we want to make sure that that space is there. And, and that's how, and for us, we use Asana Forms. Um, so my team, along with the regional sales leadership, will then review and approve any of these requests that come through that form. And we usually do that in line with the marketing calendar. So we don't want, we want to make sure that there are no clashes. Um, we don't want events running on the same day, but we also want to make sure that if additional marketing resourcing is required for these additional requests, we've got that resourcing to be able to do that. So forms is really, really key for us in, in that, in, in achieving that really. Um, so I guess with that, like you've talked about what that, intake process looks like, but how do you then go and kick off a campaign? Um, yeah, uh, so the program managers, uh, we set up some templates um, that are our typical SLAs and they'll just pick up one of these templates from Asana and um, and we start scheduling, um, I guess, an initial kickoff with the brief owner. Um, and in the project a template, we actually have details of the campaign um, and we actually share out the Rossi and the people would be invited to, um, who are part of the support team, uh, will be invited to the kickoff. Um, is that how you guys kick off too? Really similar for us. I think we, just like you, we use the templates. Um, we do schedule a kickoff first, usually with marketing. If it's a really kind of complex com cross-functional project, then we always want to make sure that all of the marketers who are going to be involved have that upfront visibility and we know all of the requirements. So our Work Innovation Summit, for example, we we did that for the first time last year, highly cross-functional, pretty much everyone from marketing involved. So making sure that everyone is aligned. But I think particularly for me in field marketing, we then do a second kickoff. And this is really to kind of activate that that campaign or that event with the sales team. And um, this is usually once we've locked in the goals, the content and the resources um, for them to go and invite their customers. We do that from the template. So if we're running an exec event, for example, we've got the list of resources that we would use for that. If we're doing you know, a webinar, it might be a slightly different set of resources and the goals might differ. But we, de we tend to use those templates to make sure that everything is very consistent across everything that we do. Um, so that's kind of how we think about that, that kickoff process. So I guess moving on now to you've kicked off the project, how do you then manage your timelines to make sure everything stays on track? Yeah, I, I wanted to reflect that we are naturally kind of going into like kind of two kickoffs also. So we definitely start with an initial timeline um, with the brief owner just to give them a heads up of what it looks like. Um, and then we start sharing out um, cross-functional projects uh, that are connected to our master portfolio. And this will entail all the different channels that we are going to be kicking off with, with their specific timelines. Um, but it really does funnel up to these major milestones that we have like a master template for the whole project. This portfolio view is where I can keep an eye on all my work so I can easily dig into any of the programs that need attention as required. For example, I can see in Q2, we have a breakfast briefing that's at risk. We also have a webinar that's on hold in Q3. And that flags to me that we need to give these projects some attention in order to keep them moving in the right direction. As well as that, as a field marketer, a key part of my role is to work very closely with our cross-functional partners across the business, including sales, um, as well as business development. 
one of the things I've often heard from a sales team is that they needed one place to find information for all marketing programs. And that's why we built out this dedicated FY25 confirmed UK marketing programs project. I'm going to take you in there now on a separate tab. Um, so this project contains all my cross-functional partners across sales, customer success, solutions, marketing, and business development. And it's where I store key information relating to our live programs. So here's an example of what a task will look like in this particular project. Um, we use task templates as well to, um, to provide sales with all the key information that they need relating to programs, such as the details, the objectives, target audience, as well as most importantly, the sales resources that they need. You can see that we've included a link to the landing page. We also have our invite template copied in there, as well as the Salesforce program. Um, so they're able to see who exactly is registered to date in there as well. I also populate this project um, using the multi-home feature in Asana. So multi-homing allows me to have the milestone sit in multiple projects without the need to duplicate it. In this particular example, you can see that um, this lives in the dedicated project for this particular program, but it's also multi-homed in this confirmed UK marketing programs project too. But we don't just create events in isolation. Um, we also solicit input from other teams like sales to determine what other field marketing programs would be helpful to generate and accelerate pipeline. To that end, we have created a custom form, which I'm going to show you right now. Um, and that form is shared with sales where they can request regional program support from marketing. And here's an example of what that form looks like. And in this particular example, let's say I'm a salesperson, I've got a customer coming up who's really keen to share the use case on a customer webinar next quarter. And I know that will help me both accelerate pipeline as well as generate new pipeline for future quarters. Thanks to this form, I can flag it to the marketing team and ask for their support in the execution of the program through this form. So let's go ahead and populate this form. I filled out some details here where you can see um, I'm Ben, I'm, I'm based in the UK market. I'm a salesperson. I want to run that webinar. Not sure when it should be. Um, and I've included some additional information there. I'm going to go ahead and submit this form right now. Perfect. And you can see that form is submitting. That's been received. So I'm now flicking into the confirmed marketing programs uh, project that you can see. Um, and you can see it has details used in the form to populate the custom fields, including subregion. As you might have noticed as well, my colleague Diana is a team member who's in charge of our webinar programs. As you can see in quarter one, she's running one for uh, Asana for marketers, as well as in Q3 for Asana for operations. Um, and with thanks to the custom fields, you can see that this form has been assigned to Diana as we created a rule that if event type is equal to webinar, Diana will automatically be the assignee on this task.